And now, our feature presentation. Alrighty, boysies, how you doing? How you doing this fine, fine day? Welcome to you live from the Dusty Old Man Home Video Store. That's right, boys, we're digging back into Death by Degrees. And we're still stuck on that fucking cruise ship. So aye, this is today's goal, to get off that fucking ship. And also to find out where we're going. Because this game's got a fucking survival horror map. So aye, how you doing today, boysies? I'm fucking loaded with some sort of cold. And I've been off the last couple of days, so I've been spending it doing fuck all. I actually platinumed Tekken 8 on Friday night, and I platinumed Spider-Man 2 yesterday. So you all does just relaxing, playing. Uh, I've actually started digging into that. Star Wars. Oh, what one is it? Fallen Order Jedi Survivor. I can't remember which one's which. But the second one, and I've just started. It's pretty good. And it was time to dig into Death by Degrees. Because I've not played enough Tekken over the last wee while. And I'll be beating the Oni yesterday, so I don't think we're going to beat Dead by Degrees today. I think this game's going to take us quite a wee while. Mainly because I've got no fucking clue where I'm going. I looked up a walkthrough, like on YouTube, just to get an idea of how how long it's taken me for this game. And the video that I watched, they got to where I was within an hour, and I felt pure shite. Because this is like my third stream. Also, I did cut the last stream short by like... 15 minutes. I probably could have done more last time, but I was just not feeling not feeling 100%. But I kind of have an idea where I'm going now. I say that. I don't really, but I think if I just keep saying I've kind of got an idea, I'll eventually get an idea. Okay, I've got a better idea of where I'm going because I peeked at the walkthrough. This one just says, oh, go back to the room where you found blah blah blah. But I think I need to get back to the main sort of lobby. But this bit's always heaving with guards. Heaving with them. We've spotted the intruder. Oh, excuse me, pals. Excuse me. Can I be... Can I be doing this? There we go. Yes, man. That bit's always going to be a bit scary to run through. But I always doing? What, what's been on today? Michael was on earlier playing some of that... Some of that there, uh, did he play Liza P? I knew he play, uh, he played, oh, what was it fucking called? Helldivers. And I seen Jotham was on with Bloodborne and Crash was on with Tekken. What's that? I have an idea who needs these. Just go play and see what happens. That's what I do most of the time and that's why I end up with two or three hour streams where I make no progress in video games. But is it through there or is it? I can't remember where to go though. But how you doing, Monica? How's your day going? Man, the music is so fucking loud. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit because Oni was quiet. A bit there, that's okay. Because otherwise, this one guitar track it plays will just drive me fucking insane. So I remember it's in one of these little. It's like a door off to here. Not here, because there is no door here. Hey look, how you doing pal? How's your day going? Right, whereabouts am I going? I'm heading down this way I think. Oh, I don't think it's here. Very good day pal, dreading the work week though. Wait, what day is it? Oh yeah, it's Sunday. Hopefully it won't be too bad. I'm working... I'm working tomorrow, Tuesday, and then Friday, Saturday, so it's not too bad. I'm I'm looking forward to work, though. Though I've I fucked up and forgot to do a lot of stuff last week, so I'll have to burn through it and get it done on Tuesday. But I, you've, you've still got another day until, you know... That's the way I always look at it. I always count down, like, the hours and shit. Even though that's probably not the best thing to do, but I'll sit there going, oh, I've still got X amount of free time, I've, I've still got, you know. 
so many hours of free time. But then, which is good when you've got plenty of time, but then you start counting down and it's like existential dread hits you when you get to about maybe like, you know, down to like, oh, and you go to sleep soon because I've got X amount of hours to work. Oh, it's grim. But anyway, boysies, anyways. Enough about work. Is this where I'm going? I mean, I've not got a clue, but... Oh, oh, actually, this... Uh, this is looking okay. I think this is where I got the stuff. Yeah, the blue tag and the executive roster. We'll see if a cutscene plays. Oh, 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 what's this? Communications log obtained. What's the communications log? Let's have a look. Kenny Brecker went missing during a routine security patrol. There was evidence of a struggle near the boiler room. Due to the possibility of an intruder or intruders, all personnel were hereby instructed to act with extreme caution. Less than two weeks till some time off. Nice. Sorry, I just, my, I've got a weird glitch with my streaming thing where I can't see a lot of the chat, so I just clicked on there. Less than two weeks till some time off. Oh, is that when you're coming over here? No more work on this pleasant su Sunday afternoon slash evening. Aye. That's what I was looking at because I would like go, oh, I'm, I'll spend, I've got so much time to spend with Megan, you know? That's always something that helps me. Anyways, encounter two armed intruders at the entrance of the atrium, engaged in combat, but they managed to get away. Use of firearms is hereby authorised for all personnel. Capture or kill the intruders at once. It appears though, uh, oh, sorry, I'm just going to try and fix my, what I'll do is I'll put the chat up here. A second, I'm just trying. I've got a weird thing with my tw chat where it says, uh, fail to load module. Oh, and now everyone's went white. Two seconds, boys. Technical errors. There we go. I fixed it. Yes, man. Back to usual stuff. Back to your regular scheduled nonsense, right? Uh, go using a terminal somewhere on board the ship. Search and destroy all of... So a search and destroy the truders is here by the top priority. Keep in the truders may be utilising the air ducts to move about the ship. Oh. They might be on us. Right. Is this... Oh, I think it's in there. I'll do a wee, a wee save anyway. Just in case. Because I've not used up any... Like health in that, you know, so might as well just. The lock has been deactivated. How you doing, Crash? How was Tekken? How far did you get? Send images to the CIA? Why not? Five character stories left. Nice. I've still got. I've done as many, excuse me. I've done as many as I need to do to actually get the trophies, but. I need to sit and do quite a few of them. Because they're actually pretty good. Enrique and his men are headed your way. They're much better than the Tekken uh, 7 ones. Much better. Ah, I see. Hurry up, or I'll leave you behind. Is there any character that you've played? like? Because I used to do this with, with Tekken stuff all the time, where it's like... they w I wouldn't be super interested in them, but then I'd sit and play like Tekken Force Women and suddenly go, Oh, this character's fucking class, you know? Any character that you've kind of played to that, you might have, you might be picking up. Oh no! Lars and Lee have uh, been feeling interesting. Ooh, well, uh, thing is, I want to like Lars a lot more than I do. The containment doors are triggered by the fire alarm. We need to find Norway. I think it's just because he's got such a like. He does look cool, but he's also got that sort of really cool moment in the storyline. Cargo lift is already on the floor. Cool. We'll head up in the cargo lift. Right, uh, what direction are we heading in? But, like, uh, I used to always play as Lee in Res Dark Resurrection. Purely because one of his grabs is just a, a swinging net breaker. And I was like, oh, here we go. Because if you want me to get interested in a character, just give him wrestling moves. Like, genuinely, that's one of the reasons I main Heihachi in the last game. Was because, I know Heihachi's always got a really cool power bomb, 
But I fucking loved whipping that out as a finisher. Right, another way. Cool, so... Another way. Hmm. It's boarding area for lifeboats. Lifeboat above you is locked and can't be boarded yet. Cool, right. Uh, where to now? Oh, actually, I've just clicked a finished. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong bit. That's why I'm lost because I'm. I've done mission five. That was mission five. Was going walking to use a laptop. You know, I thought eighteen missions. This is gonna be like it's gonna take me forever. But some of the missions are literally walk to a room and press one button. Wait a second. Before you go out from there, really feel. Oh, cool. I need to do one thing first. So pop down here. You know, every time uh, I play Tekken, I always think, I want to pick up Nina. Because Nina's cool as fuck. But I just never can pick her up. I love her uh, sort of ground grabs that she can chain together. They're fucking awesome. But I've never been able to just to get the hang of them. Prize me sword to the cargo lift. Data transfer complete. Oh, release the lock in the lifeboats. There we go. That's one thing I've sort of realised with Tekken, with, uh, with Hayachi dying in Tekken 7. We're never going to get, well, we're probably going to get a Hayachi back. At least my theory, that's my theory with DLC, is we'll get some form of Hayachi or a character that is just Hayachi. I want the jumping power bomb, boysies. That's a class grab. Don't really care about the atomic noogie too much, but the jumping power bomb is class. But yeah, Tekken story mode might uh, Tekken Eight might have the best story mode of any fighting game. It's up there with Mortal Kombat Ten. Oh, a bunch of boys. It's honestly been fantastic. Aye, because Tekken 7 was like... Tekken 7 had a, was pretty cool and it ended on such a high note. Like That final fight in Tekken 7 was fucking amazing. And I think I maybe overrated it a bit because of the final section. But Tekken, but Tekken 7 had a good story mode, but this one was, oh, the best. Like, you should have seen me fist pump in the air when... Spoiler alert! When, during, is it Operation Rebellion it's called? Where all the soldiers started chanting for King, when King was fucking hitting muscle busters on jacks and all that. Oh, 10 on 10. Absolute 10 on 10. I feel they've done a better job of giving a lot of characters a time to shine. Even characters like, like, like you know in the tournament section you can control, you can choose to control them. I thought it was really good for that, while most, like for example Tekken 7 you just played as a Hachi mostly, you know? Handle to manually raise and lower the lifeboat. Turn the handle? Sure, why not? Wait, I need to do it. That was a fantastic way to handle, didn't I? Because you're having to choose between the characters and stuff. That was that was really cool. And it wasn't bad for like Another pet peeve I have with fighting game story modes is where fights come out of nowhere. Like Mortal Kombat's really bad for this. Where, for example, I remember one bit in the first chapter you play Johnny Cage. And Johnny Cage just walks in when Sonya and Luke, I think it's Sonya and Luke Kang or something are having a conversation. And Sonya, and he tries to hit on Sonya and then Sonya just goes, right, time to fight. Like, none of the fights felt like they were shoveled, sh like shoved in there, you know? They all felt like they were actually part of the story. And they actually, you, like, I watched a video about uh, Thor a guy called Thor Arcade and he talked about how the fights actually do things to tell like to tell stories like spoiler at the very end with uh Jin using the Mishima style you know as opposed to like in Mortal Kombat when you could be like you know hitting the kiss of death onto Johnny Cage and he's fine in the story mode afterwards you know oh no we've been stunned by someone
She just doesn't look like she fits in. I am. Wait, what's going on here? Wait, was I drugged? MK Storms were never this cool, honestly. So far, I'm watching Crash Streams, Tekken is a full on blast. Aye, it's a lot of fun. I think it's Mortal Kombat 9 and 10 had great story modes. 11 was fine, and I've not even touched 1s yet. I don't really mind as much. Oh, it's a flashback. Mind flashback. Is that a uh, big, I don't know, Sir Williams? I'm not quite sure. Oh, no, it's a zombie. Wait, fuck, are zombies actually in this? Daddy? Oh, wait, no, it's a nightmare. It's okay. Like, having zombies in Tekken wouldn't be far off. Oh, my God, there are. Oh, I think we're having some uh, emulation glitches. Oh, dear. Yeah, I don't think it's meant to look like this. Oh, do you pretend it's snow boysies? What is going on? Oh, she's drugged me. I see. I see. So it's a nightmare, right? That's why it looks bad, boysies. It's not the dodgy emulation. I mean, uh, the, the completely legit PS2. Let's know if it was a feature. Oh my god. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I pressed X to hit. Right, so she uses the snow to teleport away. Oh, wait, is. Like. Does baby Nina hear. Wait, wait, fucking smash her brain. Come on. Nina's not got a face. How much health does the focus attacks do? A lot. Oh my god, shut that way up. Right, I'll take a couple of meal kits. And um, boys, we're gonna pretend that it looks, you know, normal. So boys, what a cool effect on this, the ice. Doesn't have to wait for her to get up. Have zombies been interesting to take before? I'm trying to think, like... I'm trying to use the fucking focus attacks, but I think I'm all at, uh, I'm all at the focus things. Oh, this man, this looks awful. Right, uh, you get some bottled water up there. Boost defense, uh, sure, why not? Right. So... I Here we go. One. And then we go broke our, our leg. Shard our leg. Fucking hell. Oh man, I hope the rest of the game doesn't look as awful as this fight. Oh no. Leave baby Nina alone, I think. I mean, they could just be going for something really smart here, going like, oh, we'll make it look glitchy, kind of like, uh, you know, the Arkham games. But I don't think they, I don't think the games, I think I'm, I'm just trying to excuse the, the dodgy look of it. Anyway, break her arm. Not that it matters, you know. Anyway, she's, ne she's nearly dead. While she's down there selling, I'll just take care of the zombies. And hopefully end this nightmare. Right, she's doing a flip and she's teleporting away, yeah. There you go, Tomfa should do her in. Honestly, I think, I think it's just a glitch with the, the snow effects. So, hopefully, remember I said... Remember I was saying, oh, I hope it's uh, we get off the boat. Nah, stay in the boat as long as there's none of this. There we go. 
There we go, back to normal, boys. So basically, I'm looking at the guide there. You get hit if uh, Nina, if like, baby Nina gets hit. Oh no, we've been knocked out by, what's his name? Your man fucking Benicio Del Toro's got us right. Here we go boys, here we go, we're making good progress. Oh, we're in the snow, fuck. Oh, so that's Nina and Anna when they were young. I see. Look at her very Irish sounding da. Also, I find it really funny that that Nina and Anna come from Ireland. Somewhere with one of the thickest accents in the world and none of them ever have that. They, they don't even have a hint of an accent. So much so I actually forgot that Nina was Irish until I went through the the character thing in Tekken. I was like, oh, have we got any, like, oh, now we're getting tased. She's out cold. When she comes to, start up again. Oh, I can hear, I can hear Lily barking. Lily hates torture scenes. So how long are they planning to keep that guy in solitary alive? Beats me. Who is he anyway? Some sort of scientist. Hmm? You awake? Oh, here we go, boys. Here we go. Morning. I just realized, of course, her outfit has high heels on it. Of course. All equipment was confiscated. Oh, shit. You must track and retrieve them somehow. So at least I've got a change of scenery. We're in a, a prison. I mean, prisons are... Like, prison areas are always cool in games, right? Right, let me just get all the lovely, delicious meal kits that have been dropped. Right, here we go. Here we go. Let's explore a little bit. Get a bang of uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2, which, boys, if you've not played Revelations 2, play it. It's a genuinely... No, excuse, excuse me. Fucking coughing fit caught me there. It's a genuinely phenomenal Resident Evil game. Especially if you play it co-op. It's class. One that was drastically underappreciated. Uh, but anyway, I could go on about Resident Evil all day, but I'll wait till I'm playing Resident Evil to do that. Alright, so uh, Tekken 8 sales are in right now. And it sold something like, was it like 3 million in like 2 weeks or something like that? Or, or 2 million in 3 weeks, something like that. Which is mental for a fighting game. Absolutely insane. Like, Tekken's got, I think Tekken's got a casual audience, which really helps it. Because, let's be honest, see when you had a PS1, did you know anyone that didn't have a copy of Tekken 3? Like, I think that's where Tekken's got the one over like Street Fighter and stuff like that. Because and then Tekken's always put a lot of effort into their single player stuff. Like story modes. You found a your stockpile of confiscated items. Take items, of course. I've retrieved all my items. Yes, man, here we go. Roger. Right, time to ragdoll some I can hear them, but I can't see them. Are they up here maybe? And I think Tekken compared to like other fightings was a lot easier to pick up. You know, like, 
For example, I remember playing it against like my mum and dad and stuff, and it was easy to explain. Oh, here, so every button is a limb basically. Don, do, do ten, do ten nuki. Its controls are weirdly simplistic. The button limb thing works so well. Ah, it's it's so easy to explain to people for them to pick up. You know, it's less abstract than medium light heavy. Yeah. And Tekken was one that's always like, how do I say it? It's easy to pull off inter interesting moves. Like it's got a low ceiling. No, not a low ceiling. Ah, how do I say this? Like you get what I mean? It's got like you can be good at Tekken and it's pretty easy, but obviously it's got a high skill ceiling as well with being very good. If that makes sense. Low barrier of entry. There we go. And then you get games like say King of Fighters, which fuck me. Oh, they don't not make it easy to get into. Oh, King of Fighters is fucking solid. Like, I've bought three King of Fighters games. I've got 13 sitting behind me on... I own that twice, strangely. I've got... Well, I've got on Steam as well, and I've, so that's three times, fuck. Uh, and I've got one of the collections, and I've got like, a digital one, which is, like, the first set of them, like, which is the original saga. And fuck me, it's ridiculously difficult. That's without bringing in the fucking bosses that are input reading and shit like that. Right, additional firearms. What have I got? Oh, I forgot I can do this. I forgot grabbing was a thing completely. Because there's only been a few fighting games that my... Like my family will play with me. And uh, Soul Calibur 2 and Tekken are... The rest of them, nah, like, they couldn't really pick up, like, my dad never uh, fucked with, like, Mortal Kombat, never fucked with, like, with, Soul, uh, no, with, like, Street Fighter and stuff, but, yeah, you give him Tekken any day, he'll, right, here we go, here we go, boys. So I need to get fingerprints for B1, so I need to look around for something that would have fingerprints on it. Maybe the guards are just killed, but, you know. I suppose that's not an option, so it and shiny. Prisoner AIDS journal. Where the bloody hell am I? They blindfolded me, so I haven't ha got an inkling as to where I am. But the scent of the ocean is strong. Upon the arrival, we were all thrown together into one room with a nary a scrap, but some rotten food. The stench is incredible. The trap next to me hasn't moved since yesterday. Could he be dead? The place is unbearable. I've learned from the others that this is an isolated island once used as a military fortress, but now a prison. The security here is tight. Due to its original function as a fortress, there are thick concrete walls everywhere. Even if one to make it outside the walls, the tides and distance to mainland remain. Escape would appear to be a challenge. Now then, what to do? They've left this corpse to rot. The stench isn't so bad. I've grown accustomed to it, but the incessant buzzing of the flies does contribute to my insomnia. I had planned to observe things for a while longer, but I doubt it'll last very long at this rate. Best get started then. Right, so this guy tried to escape, so let's see if we can maybe follow his tracks or something like that, or... Hmm. But I wonder with this, was there more spin-offs planned, or was it just like, cause it's called Project Nina? Or was it exclusively like, where they're like, oh fuck, right, let's just get a thing just for Nina. Milk at M. Nice spin-off game from my boy King. Or what other what other spin-off games could you get? I don't know. I've, I've said that and I've got nothing. I don't I, I don't know why. Usually I've got part or se semi-planned, or like I'll go oh, but I've literally got nothing planned. That apart from a wrestling spin-off with King, I've not got any pictures of that. Or how about you just make a Tekken Force game? Because, boys, I miss Tekken Force. I thought Tekken Force was the bee's knees, especially in Tekken 4. Did it control Janky? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it did. But it was cool. Also, I fucking love Tekken 4. I know it's seen as, like, the... The one that's a bit rough. But I, like, I really like it. I think it's got my best... The best looking king, I think. With the sort of trunks and the... The trunks and the long hair coming out of the mask. I think it's a really cool look. 
Right, so I'm still looking for anything that might get me out of here. Wait, is this where I that's where I got my stuff back? Right, I'm gonna have a, a wee peek, so Look at the room that the jail door opened. From there, go back upstairs. Uh, go back upstairs and go to the cell. Right from the cell where you w got started. Got a finger oh, fingerprint from a dead body. Cool. Suppose, suppose I need to get a fingerprint from a random dead body and not the guards that I just beat to death. But, eh, what do I know? Oh yeah boys, I forgot to say as well, I'm starting Phantasmagoria tomorrow, and oh boy. Oh, that's going to be a rough one. I've got it running. A dead bound soldier. Looks like a warning to those who might betray the organisation. For those who don't know, uh, Phantasmagoria is a survival horror game. Well, a survival adventure. No, not a survival. A horror adventure game made by Roberta Williams, who made some of the King's Quest games. Phantasmagoria is a classic. How are you doing, Proto? How's your day going? I'm really looking forward to it, but fuck me, it's going to be a rough one. It's going to be especially rough. Honestly, boys, I kind of just want to play Phantasmagoria 2, but I was like, might as well play one. You know, I've got them both on Steam, so might as well. How are you doing, Proto? How's your day going? Right, so I've scanned that, guys. Fingerprints. Phantasmagoria 2 is a really wild one. Aye. It's like a really... It didn't it cost like a ridiculous amount of money to make? Like, for the time, for an adventure game, it was like something like... The door's locked, you need a key. It was something like 4... 4.5 million or something like that. And it bombed. But I'm really, I'm really looking forward to it. Hope I don't get banned off Twitch for it. I think I'll be okay. A lot of people seem to be playing it now, especially with... Because... The guy who plays the main actor is, is streaming a lot now. So I think I think a lot of people are coming back to revisiting Phantasmagoria 2. So hopefully Phantasmagoria 1 will be a good time. Because I've not played an adventure game on stream since... Uh, ba, 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 ba. Monkey Island 3. Because initially I was going to play Monkey Island 3, uh, 4, which is Escape from Monkey Island. But, out of the cell. I thought, fuck it, why not? Go for something different, you know? Bad. At least you're in one piece. <laughs> oh yeah, I think Twitch is really weird with things where it's like... Like, I'll play a game, like, I've played a game before where nudity is a big thing in it. But then, like, I've always got the overhanging sort of fear of going, don't get banned, Mikey. I think as long as you're not playing it and it's not like a porn game, you should be okay. Well, there's been multiple times in the Man Home Video Store we played a game with tits in it. I remember the first time it ever happened, I was playing uh, Far Cry Blood Dragon and I just had my head in my hands during the sex scene. I was like, no, please end soon. Please. Here we go, here we go. I forgot to grab. Oh no. You've seen nothing. You've seen nothing. Oh no! I forget how quick the I need to be with the grabs. There we go. Right. Oh, he's still up. Let me grab some delicious meal kit. And while he's swinging at me, I'll just yes, man. There we go. Yes, man. Kick that box. How you doing, Michael? How was uh? How was Hell Divers? I seen you were you were still sitting in a call with big shinners. Were you still playing it? It looks really interesting. It looks really fun. It's great. I might I might give it a look. Oh, I done the Eddie Guerrero to him. Right, where is he? Is he in here? 
door is old and flimsy. Oh fuck, I killed him. Oh, did he shout out a key? Yes, man. Totally fun time. Hey, Shin uh, Shinra, how you doing, pal? I went to call you Shinners and then say, I went, nah, fuck it, Shinner. I don't, I don't know why. My, my brain's no wet today. Old fashioned bronze key, it's labelled solitary block. So I went to say Shinra and then my brain went, that's no his name. And I was like, why not? Fucking is right. Oh, I'm too tired for this, boys. I'm out my face on cold and flu medication. It has been a time. There we go. I was thinking the mirrors though, because a lot of PS2 games really struggle with mirrors. Like I remember Time Spot's Future Perfect, that was like the end of the It was like uh ba 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 Oh fuck. I completely forgot what I was saying there, but that's okay because it was probably shite. Right, deep down these guys. Right, try and grab. Try and grab one of them so I can try and finish them off. Yes, man, break his arm. There. Yes, man, fucking Neil Williams blood sport. Let's go. Here we go, here we go, boys. Here we go. Yes, man. Cannot get, like, just throw the melee weapons away. Let's have a wee gander. Firearms. Here we go, melee weapons, right? Uh, oh, discard, I can. Discard his weapon, yes. I get a stun button, can I, can I dual wield? Oh, boys, I can. Yes, man, here we go. What's that say? Enlist today. Your army needs you. There's a poster for Jack advertising the army. That's Tekken 4. And is that Tekken 5? Exhibition match. I can't make it out. Is that Huarang and Brian, maybe? But I just, are we Tekken 4 poster? The best Tekken. Right, so it's not that way. Oh, sorry, boys, I need a cough. Oh man, I, I hate this. I have a fucking cold for like half of the year. It's awful, I hate it. See, for the like last three months of the year and the first three months of the year, it's just awful. I haven't asked my fucking socks, boys. Wait, where was I going? I was going up here and there was a locked door back in the big room. Oi boys, I know I've uh, so I put, I put a, a, a in my my Discord, but I don't know when I'm planning to do it, but I'm planning on doing a themed time of like superhero games. So I'm open to suggestions on my Discord, which I've not even planned a name or anything like that. I was going to have like, I don't know, I don't know, fucking Super Brawl Saturday or some shit like that, I don't know. Like name it something and then I was going to play nothing but superhero games for a wee while. So open for applications. I've already got some things planned, and fuck me, it's going to be a bad time. Oh, something's happening. Oh, fuck, it's ninjas. They've got some more drone now, they're coming for me. Wait, are they Tekken Force? There we go. Break his skull. Oh, that's cool. It's like a... Oh, that's pretty cool. But I've used up all my focus bar now. Fucking... Gave him a cracked rib and, like, broke his skull when he's still getting up to fight. Fucking hell. No selling cunts. Uh, so those two down. Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. And... Is that enough to kill him? Yes, man, there we go. 
Okay, a delicious, delicious meal kit. And is it in here? Use bronze key? Yes. The door's been unlocked. Tekken Force? Oh, the Tekken Force, yes, man. We're finally getting something more Tekken related. I mean, I'm fighting Tekken Force, but technically it is a Tekken Force spin off. Right. So that's trying to show me where I, where I was to go. And I completely fucked it. Right. Oh, the camera's. Right, you know what? Let's keep in survival horror mode for now. It's like a reverse version of that Haunting Ground boss fight. That one where that awful clip is of me going uh, when I kick the Duggan right in the face. There's doctored footage, didn't I? I should do it. Right, here we go, boys. Here we go. Um. Wait, did they mean me? Oh fuck, they do mean me. A bunch of lads here, let's take them down. Holy shit, is that an Iron Maiden? Multiple Iron Maidens, holy shit. Always remember a bit in Haunting Ground where I hid an Iron Maiden thinking, oh, this will be smart, it'll never look for me in here. And the guy just shut the doors and I was like, oh, well, there we go, that's me fucked. Interrogation report. He's admitted uh, that an intestine. Anticipation of our arrival, he planned to remove Sal Salacia from the facility and escape. However, the VX gas leak, which caused the facility to be shut down, forced him to leave Salacia behind. Further interrogation under sodium am am amytol revealed that the destruction of the chemical weapon storage room led to the gas leak. Excuse me, sorry, my voice is going again. Unfortunately, we're unable to obtain any information pertaining to the perpetrator from Lucas. My recommendation is to commence with other session upon Hayes' recovery. I've got the in my there we go, just get... Get punting. Get back here, you prick. There we go, yes, man. So it's going to be weird going between this and Phantasmagoria. Usually I play two games that are kind of similar, but oh... This could be a different one. Wait, is that a nail chair? Jesus. And what's this? Nothing to pick up here. I tried to move it. Oh, wait, no, there's a guy. Print scanner, yep. A trust up soldier. There's ample evidence of torture. Who's this? Mark Sonnenfeld. Right, so now I can open up the sort of private lockers. I've got so much shit to open up. I might save that for like a big boss or something like that, or like. Hey, did you see my video on the net? Who are you with? Who's this? Never, never mind. That's not important. If you get me out of here, I'll give you top priority on my future contracts. Lucas Hayes, I presume. If you act ah, the famous Tekken character, I'll Lucas Hayes. Tell me, what is Salacia? She can't breathe. Uh, chill out. Be happy to talk. But first, you've got to bust my ass out of here. If I die, you won't get your precious information. Oh, no. That's the oh, fuck. It's a, is that an escort mission? I love escort missions. So do. Tell you, it won't be easy. I don't know who you're with, but wait, don't tell me you're alone. You can't be serious. Need to lurk a sec. Oh, no problem, Monica. Thank you so much for joining us. Right, uh, cool. So I need to go get Enrique. Was that his name? 
right, so I'm just seeing where I am roughly. So we're less than an hour in. I feel we've made really good progress today. And that's we're just an hour in. Oh, a save point. I'll happily do that. Considering last time we made not great amount of it. Uh, actually, no, we've done okay level of like progress. But considering we've fought a boss and we're in a new area and we're already making our way through that. Class. But again, this might be like, you know how Resident Evil games you'll have like, what, the starting area will be really in-depth and really, uh, like windy and shit, you have to explore that. And afterwards, every area you go to afterwards is a bit more linear. Anyway, weapons cache manual. Weapons cache is located to the prison during emergencies, uh, memorize the following patterns. Oh no. Well, uh, luckily enough, the guide here tells me what to do, so I've still not got any clue how to actually do it. Right, move them, and then Move them, I think. Nope, I fucked it. I wish it would tell you when you've, like, fucked up once, if you get what I mean. I should do they? No, they don't. Cool, right. Hmm. Let's give this another try. So, I'm looking at the guide now, so it wants me to move the six and the two. Seemingly. Right, uh... And then it wants me to... Put the... So, I have to move them all down one, I think. Right, cool. Cool, we got this, right? We're good, I think. And then what's the next one? So one, two. Don't wait, I've got to where I need to be, but oh wait, no no no. Oh, and then do I need to move this row? There we go, we did it, boys, we did it. What do we find? A heavy weapon for launching 40mm grenades. It damages all enemies within its blast radius. Right, I'm fucking binning whatever other gun we've got for a fucking grenade launcher. Yes, man. That means when we get big sort of groups of enemies, we can just fucking delete them. Right, discard the submachine gun. And we're getting grenade launcher. Yes, man. Here we go. Where was the save point? Wasn't in there, was it? Was it in here? Wait, let's save again just to make sure. Just so I don't have to do that puzzle again. Right, here we go, boys. Here we go. Oh, I see a shiny. What's this? Prisoner A is Journal 2. Took some time, but I finally made it to the sewer without him noticing. I've heard that the sewers are connected to the elevator shaft. I ought to be able to access the yard and the roof from there. Last night I made it to the yard. As, just to be sure, I went all the way to the rec room and found the guards completely pissed out cold. Those chaps sure act like they haven't a care in the world. Next time I'll see if I can make it up to the roof. There was an inspection today when the guards came near it. I got terribly nervous. Luckily, I think I'm as mad as a hatter, so there was no immediate d danger. But it is high time I got to work. What do they mean? Do they mean? Oh, that's what they mean. Ah, I see. Is it the one thing in the cell that actually looks out of place? Is that what I've to hit? Right, uh... 
Hmm. Big bang of like old dungeon crawlers here. Just the way the movement works. Right, not there. Right, I've hit, hit a dead end, so back the way. You know, I've been thinking about digging into one of them. Like a, like a proper Kingsfield or some shit like that, you know? Maybe not Kingsfield, because I know Michael went Kingsfield. Maybe something like Shadow Tower, or... Something along the same lines, you know? Or like some weird old computer RPG. Actually, I do have quite a lot of RPGs that I want to get around to, so... Yeah, I may put that on the back burner for now. Because I actually was sitting, doing my uh, spreadsheet out again. And like all the games I eventually want to get to and all the ones that have been added to the list. And fuck me. There was me thinking, I've been streaming, what, for... Four years, but... When I say... I was going to say full... I don't mean full time, I mean like... Streaming a lot regularly for about three years. Wait, about, yeah, we about, yeah, about two and a half, probably closer to that. Because I was doing it just occasionally before. And I've still got plenty of games to dig into, you know. There's me thinking, oh, I'll run out of games eventually. No, no, no. I'm going to make my way through all the Resident Evil games. Because I remember Crash did that with, it. was it Melga Solid? You did that with Crash? Where you played like every mainline series, or every mainline game. Apart from like Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2 and was it Snake's Revenge? Is that the NES, like American made one? You can jump down but you won't be able to return to a duck, uh, sure why not. I don't really care about missing out from a, a gold coin. Yep, still some unfinished business with Metal Gear though. Oh, I wonder what that unfinished business is. Still res, do survive to finish, and maybe we'll do the old original uh, Metal Gear ones. And you've got Twin Snakes to do as well. And then by that time, maybe Delta will be out, or whatever it's called. Which I wonder how faithful it'll be. Like, will it be like a one-to-one -one remake, or will it be a bit more different? I, I don't know. I'm really looking forward to it, because I think Snake Eater is close to a perfect game. You know Kieran does not like Snake Eater. I'll do Twin Snakes when I can capture older systems. I have a legit copy, so that'll be fun to play that. Oh, nice. That'll be worth a, a fair little, because I wanted to get a copy of Twin Snakes, and oof. Oh, it's no cheap. Eh, it's a fucking handgun. I can leave the handgun. But I've literally got the... I've got the HD collection behind me. I can't well buy the Mega Solid 3, like, re-release. Because I'll play Metal Gear Solid 3 again, and also I'm really looking forward to the remake. It was one of the first games I streamed. Oh, so fucking good. Kieran doesn't like it because of the camera angles, and the, he, he only played the PS2 release. But I usually, I usually get on at Kieran for, excuse me, my voice is going again. Let me just climb up the ladders first. Oh my god, Nina, could you take it any longer? It's nice of them to wait for me. Oh fuck, I just got ragdolled there. Let me take out the Tekken Force first. But the same way, like, I'll nag on at Kieran to play XYZ games. And it's like, I told him, I told him and Jason to play Persona and they both ended up fucking loving Persona 5. I told uh, Jason to eventually he drop Bloodborne. I was like, mate, stick with Bloodborne, it's fucking class. I eventually, both of them play Bloodborne, both of them love it. But Snake Eater's one I've just not been able to talk Kieran into. He's just like, oh, the camera sucks. But here we go. Let's... What's in the box? Nothing. What's in here? Used for resuscitation. This item completely restores HP and focus. One of my favorite games. Oh, it's, it's probably my... It's probably my third favourite game, because I, I think I sat figured out my list. I think it was, I've got five favourite games, and the fa that five never change. The rest of them move around a lot. Like, for example, I've got, I've got like a top 25, but the top 25 is very fluid. 
But my number five is probably probably Persona Five Royal. Four is probably uh, Katawa Sojo. Three is probably Snake Eater. Two is uh, Final Fantasy Nine, and one is of course Persona Four Golden. Because I've never mentioned that I like Persona Four before. Have a boys. I'm pretty quiet about that one. Oh shit. I had no idea. I know I'd, I very rarely talk about it. Right, you know what? Fuck this. Let's try. Aha! Oh fuck, no, I didn't mean to you do two shots of that. I want to save that for next time, but fuck. But I remember when I was bored and work one day, I just sat and filled out a big list and I was like, right, let's try and figure out my 100 favourites. I don't want to say my top 5, Metal Gear Solid 3 and Mario Galaxy for sure. Like, again, my top 25, I tried to figure that out and it was very fluid, like, I'd move things in, move things out, you know? But my top 5 tend to just stay there, you know? VVV might be on there. Yeah, like, I go through stage, like, for example, Dragon Age Origins is usually in there, but then that might move down a wee bit, or... Actually, I don't know how that's... Because that... Also, I'd probably move Persona 5 Royal out there just for the sake of, like... There was already a Persona game in the top 5, but then... I fucking love Persona 5 Royal as well, you know? But then Baldur's Gate 3 is probably, but I, I think that's got maybe a bit of recency bias to it. I'd have to sit and actually figure it out, but end up going through streaming, like, I've been replaying games that I used to fucking love. Like, for example, Ultimate Spider-Man, I would have put that in my top uh, 50 before. But then when I played that, I was like, oh, you have not aged well, you know? I got, a gold, I got a gold coin. Fuck knows what it does. And then I noticed I was on my list. I was like, "There's a thousand different Street Fighter versions." It was shame to watch that because I felt the same way about the game. I, in which you would play, it was like, "Oh no!" Like, there's no strategy. There's no the game doesn't hold up. I felt bad because I was like, "That's a really fond memory I've got." Kind, I don't want to say ruined, but kind of like, oh, this game isn't as good as I remember it. Oh, oh, actually no, right, I'll move it about. I'll put Persona 5 Royal out because I don't want to have two Persona games in my top. You know, because I feel that's like overplotting a little bit. I'll put Parasite Eve in there. I fucking adore Parasite Eve. It's actually, that was my... Like, my, my one goal was I wanted to own, like, every game in my, like, my top 10. I'm lucky that most of them are fairly, like, I've got my PS2 copy of Persona 4, which is, like, my, that's, like, my, my thing, you know, that's, that's my golden goose, as it were, that's my, you know, that and my cop, my Japanese copy of Parasite Eve are, like, my favourite things, you know. That's why I'm taking a break from my Wii game streams and just playing some of my favourite games. It'll be interesting to see if they all hold up. I know Pokemon Snap does, because I played it not long ago. It's just there's a lot of things that go into, like, like, I don't know what Ultimate Spider-Man, I think it was just the fact that it was, like, like, I had the combat, the combat was as deep as a fucking puddle, you know, or the depth of a puddle, I don't know, I was just a bit, a bit let down by it, but that might also be affected by the fact that I was also playing Spider-Man, uh, like, the PS4 one at a time, and bear in mind on stream I had played... Uh, Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions, you know. I've played a lot of Spider-Man games on stream. And we're going to play more of them. Because what I'll do... Actually, boys, wait, I'll let you know. The one, the only game I've actually confirmed to myself that I am playing for... Uh, the Superior... Uh, sort of... I need to come up with a name for it. Is Spider-Man Web of Shadows. Which, boys, I don't want to give you a spoiler. But one of the main choices in that game is... Will you choose the good option, which is will you end up romancing Mary Jane, or will you choose Black Cat? I don't want to spoil it, boysies, but it's pretty fucking obvious which one I'm going to choose. That's a game I always wanted to play it, 
and I sat and watched uh, people play through it on streams, not stream, on like YouTube and stuff, you know. Back when it was in, te back in my day when it was 10 minute videos, you know. But, uh, I always wanted to get Spider-Man Web of Shadows, never, end up never getting it, but now it's fucking skyrocketed in price. I'm so fucking lost, boysies. Was actually meant to come in here at all? I don't think so. But I've got a couple of things I will look into. I will play things that are a bit more old. And I will play because usually I play a lot of PS1, PS2 era games. That tends to be my wheelhouse. But I'm going to try and branch out more into like... Like for example, I also want to beat Spider-Man and the X-Men Arcade Revenge. Which is one of the first games... I, it's actually the first game I ever bought myself. Like my first game that was mine, if that makes sense. Like I, I had like a hand-me-down Amiga. And I got had a hand-me-down Super Nintendo. But that was the first time I went into a game shop and went, that's the game that I want to buy, you know? Well, I'm saying that my dad bought me it, but you, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. But the game's fucking solid, boys. He's absolutely solid. So I'm going to use uh, save states to eventually beat that game. Oh, fuck. Well, at least this is probably the right direction. Right. Break the leg and... Break the head. Yes, man! Give me horrible flashbacks to breaking my arm there. That's kind of what it felt like, but no, that's the lie. I didn't feel like I... I felt like I just knocked the wind at myself. And then when I rolled out, I was like, oh! I've tried to push myself up, and I was like, my arm's not meant to be an S shape, is it? Oh, fuck. Every time I press X, because I've been playing, like, Spider-Man and shit like that, and X is, like, or square, square the because I'm playing with a 360 remote, because, boys, I think the 360 is quite possibly my favourite... I'm between the 360 and the, the PS4 being, like, my favourite controllers. Before Jason pops up and goes, oh, the Dreamcast, boys, what's the best controller? Because I think the PS4 one is just, oh, perfect. I hate the original Xbox one, hate it. I felt like, always, because I played it when I was away, and I always felt like a fucking, like, tiny, I hate the Dreamcast controller. The GameCube controller and the Nintendo 64 controller can go fuck off. Trying to map the GameCube controller is always a nightmare. The PS4 or PS5, I. The PS5, the thing is, I really like the gimmick they do with the... You know, with the triggers and stuff. But no game does it as much as, like, Astro's Playroom did. And Astro's Playroom was fucking amazing. The Nintendo 64 was abysmal. Not just the shape, but I'm all sick of controls, just the worst. Was that the one that they had to fucking... It was actually, like, murdering kids' hands and stuff. What we get in the Astro game? I. Uh, see if, looking back, see if I do like, I don't know, see when the, the PS5 ends and I'll sit back and look at like, oh, the best games I play in PS5. Astro Bot is probably, or Astro Playroom has got to be pretty high up on that list. Yeah, to ship out gloves to people playing Mario Party, aye. Because they were just murdering Wayne's hands. This is where I was, wasn't it? God damn it. Oh wait, have we got somewhere? Ah, right back to where we started, I think. Honestly, a lot of this area looks kind of samey, so it is difficult to tell if I've went in a circle. Wait. Okay, this is new. Wait, is it? Right, this is new, I think. Oh, wait, what's, if I press A, what happens here? Underwater controls are... Underwater sections are always class in games, aren't they? I 
forgot how to go up. Wrong button. Hey, bees home everyone. Cool. Right, let's get the auction back up and then I'll pop down here. Just see what there see what there is. I thought Neil was about to drink because she forgot to stand up. I just couldn't get out the fucking four feet of water. Underwater game and game's always a nightmare, I don't know what you mean. Has any game ever done I remember right, so a, a game that I mentioned I love. I love Metal Gear Solid 2. But there's one section of Metal Gear Solid 2 that combines two things I hate in games. Water levels and escort missions. Fuck me. That section was a nightmare, especially when underwater someone decides that the controls are inverted sometimes. Oh, I know, fuck that. It's really hard to tell where I'm going because every area in this game looks kind of the same. Or, I should say, in this fucking sewer. There's a lever for adjusting the water level. Uh, zero foot. Let's try that. I'm just scrolling down on the... Right. What am I doing now? Let's have a gander. Let's have a wee gander. Oh, Tekken Force boys. You know what, fuck this. Actually, you can follow me, can't you? Fuck, I used up all of that. Yes, man, there we go. Okay, it wasn't a complete waste. Actually, I need to buy some new skills, don't I? Oh my god, I've got so much... Uh, what's this, headshot? Boys, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to do all of these. Accelerated vision, what's that? Oh my god, that sound. I'm so sorry, boys. Oh, I can feel that in my teeth. Oh, that's bogging. Ah! What's this sound? Do I attack that uh, when enemies down their knees? Oh! Breakfall was this. Perform a Ukemi to reduce the damage when launched into the air. Oh! Oh, I feel like that's horrible, that sound. Ah! Wall attack. Five hit combo. Please focus. Oh, Jesus. Again, I don't know if it's because my sciences are all fucked, but literally that sound just does something to me. I hate it. I hate it so much. I need to grit my teeth whenever it's about to happen. Yeah, let's get a headshot in here. Ah, that's awful, I hate it. Right, there we go, we've got... What have we got now? We've got... Yes, man. Yes, man. Yes, man, there we go. We've got a bunch of melee weapons, I'll use up the stun buttons first. Mikey, why are they jiggling? Because Nina's not got a very good brash on. How you doing, Sean? How's your day going? Mikey, is this one of those games? Yes, it is. It's one of the games we found on that list, Sean. Right, is there anything down here that I've... Because I've put the water level all the way down. Oh, right, there's a door there, so I need to put a door maybe 15 foot, maybe? Maybe. Also, Sean, if you'll notice, the more damage Nina gets, the more revealing her clothes are. I wish you'd do this with, like, Nathan Drake or something like that, you know? Just some big hunk. 
It doesn't air quote, it does. Wasn't there an X Men game? Uh, it was the. It was based off that Wolverine uh, Origins movie, where it done this, but his like tank top would fucking regenerate with him. Like it was a cool idea. Like his idea was the more hurt Wolverine gets, it's like it's so ha It'd have like pieces of like. I think 9S has the same problem, but not as much as 2B. 9S can lose the shorts. I think we'll find out when we eventually stream near Automata. Because it is on the list for me to do. But I've got quite a few games to play before I get there. And a lot of writing to do because that one's going to take quite a while. Like, I like to have, like, see if I've got a game with a lot of heavy backstory, I'll write out in my notepad that's sitting beside me. Like, usually I've got that for, like, facts about the game. I've not done it in the last while because I'm a silly boy. But if I'm really struggling for, like, par, like, I'll then just look at it and go, oh boys, did you know this game was made by blah 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 and came out in blah blah blah, you know? So, I'll need a lot of stuff with that for a near Automata because fuck me, you won't get the full story in your Automata if you've not seen a fucking stage show that only came out in Japan and was subtitled by, like, you know, maybe by some sort of fans and stuff like that. Yeah, because you need to play it Balan before you play it. Oh, that's a good shout. Balan has a full story mode that I've not touched. Where's Balan in your top five? Oh, above everything. It's number zero because it's above Persona 4 Golden. Boys, sh so, I need to make a confession for you. So, I played Balan Wonder and I beat the final boss. But after you beat the final boss, it then says, Oh, so you've unlocked, like, the fourth level in each world. Now, I never played these levels. Should I go back and play Balan Wonder World? What I'll do, right, boys, what I'll do. It's a wee while away. But I'll do my fucking... It stays so it's playing by Automata by NPC uh, from it, to be fair. I, I guess so, I. I mean, everyone loves Balan. Sounds like a fake fan who hasn't really finished it. I'll make the deal, boys. See you in July. It is my 31st birthday. Fuck me, I'm old. I'm dying. I will replay Balan Wonderworld in July. I want someone to put that in my Discord so I can't back out of it. Because I've been tempted to go back and replay some of the games I did stream back in the day. But, like, because I was still finding out what how to stream and how to do it. Like, obviously, my mic was shit. My sound quality was shit. I didn't even have chat boxes up there, and, you know. And, obviously, a little PNG Mikey didn't exist. But I don't even think the Manly Home Video Store existed. I think it was just, all right, I'm Mikey. Uh, how you doing? But, anyway, I... I I don't want to steal Crash's thing. I want to play Drakengard eventually. Then I've got Drakengard 3 behind me, so I can't want to play Drakengard 3 as well. Then I want to play near. I'll probably play near. Uh, whatever the one is. Near fucking. Uh, oh god! Near uh, Replicant 2.57, whatever the fuck, you know? Oh my god, Nina. Nina, you could rush a little bit. Like, I've already played, uh, I replayed White Day. That's where, because I remember I started, and these cunts came in all giddy from, I think it was Crash's stream, and they were all talking about beans, and they were all hyper, and then next thing, oh fuck, I died. Mission failed. Ah oh, well. Next thing I know, all the fucking chats going about how, you know, your boy from White Day's just got beans in his fucking, his pockets and shit like that. I need to play White Day 2 as well. Actually, I'm going to check on Steam how much it is. I should have picked up in the big sale. I think White Day was the first stream that was really... Excuse me. White Day 2, I think, was the first stream that was really... That really got me, if you know what I mean. Like, really... Kind of solidified what I was going to do on stream, if you get what I mean. 
It is 25 quid. I'll be definitely waiting for a sale there. Pocket beans for a minute. Oh, he's just covered. He's got beans in his pocket, beans in his fucking backpack everywhere. The giant's actually chased them down just because, just because he's fucking leaving bean juice everywhere. Well, again, so I was looking at uh, White Day too. But it's twenty five quid, so I'll be leaving it for for now. Right, boys, what I'll do is, with the camera cuts, and I'll wait for it to... Oh my god, Nina, you could hurry up. Ah, fuck off. Yeah, she's not the quickest, is she? That's gonna be the rest of the stream, me just stuck in this one fucking wall. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Let's try this again. And is Balan not in cell anymore? Let's have a gander. No, it's not. It's 30 quid. Fuck that shit. When you can get a PS5 copy for like three quid or some shit like that. I remember seeing that one fucking all in price. Right, here we go, here we go, boys. Well, everyone owns Balan now, surely. In one form or another, everyone will own it. Does Jason own it? Right, right, I figure if I wait here. Oh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be like the best selling game ever. Yeah, I bought Jason a copy. Ah, there we go. Oh, we made it, boys, I think. So now, after Alan Wake 2, we just need someone to win the marbles and make him play it. We need to fucking fix this, boys. You got me a copy, Mick got me a copy, I got Jason a copy. We, we need to wait for our sale so we can pass it on. We still need to get Jonathan, uh, Crash, we still need to get Sean here. Right, where's the line where it hits? A platformer by the guy who made Sonic, who is wrongfully, and I mean wrongfully, jailed. I'll have you know, I will not have this disrespect for Billy Hatcher to... Oh, I wasn't looking, and I walked right into the lecky cable, fuck. Oh, Gathering, I probably need to check it out then. Yuji Naka is... Mickey! Someone... Time out, crash. I'm not having, no having anyone call me Mickey. Mickey is, no. Mickey or Sir Manlon. You have, I've never actually played, but me neither. I've seen adverts for it. And it became like a game that I semi-remembered. It became like a, like I'd think of like, what's a boy game? Oh, Billy Hatcher. And I don't have I've met anyone that played it. That's where Jason comes out and goes, Oh, Billy Hatcher actually. Billy Hatcher saved my life.
Was Billy Hatch on a Dreamcast or was that? Oh, he's right. So, I I remember seeing the Dreamcast when I was younger, and I, one of the games I was seeing for it was this weird thing. It was like, it was kind of like a Pac-Man thing. What the fuck was Choo Choo Rocket? What the fuck was it? A game. It's a game I always seen, but I had no fucking clue what it actually is. Like, I always seen it getting advertised and stuff, because they went heavy with that when the Dreamcast first came out. For some reason, I remember Sonic Adventure getting shown off, I remember Shenmue getting shown off, and I remember Choo Choo Rocket. And does anyone remember, was it, the, was it on the PS1 there was a music game? Uh, well, it was like a music creator tool. And I thought it was a Sonic game, because the, lo the character the logo looked a bit like Sonic. E.g. it had spiky hair. Fuck! Shat myself there. Oh, fucking jump scared from that. But what is True True Rocket? Is that a puzzle game where uh, you're redirecting mice by putting arrows on the ground? Ah. Oh. Wait, mice? More fucking rat attack shit? Ah! Can I escape that game? Oh, pardon me, boys. I didn't think I'd get caught on camera. Oh, I don't think I might go pick it up. Was the music game in the PS1 Vero? No, it was, uh... Let's see if I can find it while there's a... What's going on? Was it Music 2000 it was called or something like that? Right, I, I need a, I'm looking this up now. I need to prove that I didn't make this game up. There we go. Hey right, boys, bear in mind, I'd only ever seen this in magazines. I didn't actually see this. So I, I used to read the PlayStation, really, I, think it was, I think it was PSM. And obviously used to advertise, you know, games and shit like that. And I seen this and just assumed it was a Sonic game. Do you see what I mean? Look at like saying it now, it feels stupid, it feels really silly. Saying it looks like a Sonic game. Also, Codemasters. Mind Codemasters, right? What are the adverts? What are the magazines that are saying this? It's just the overall shape, you know? Codemasters, I know I know the name of Codemasters, right? What did they do? I think they've done some PC ports of games or Goldmasters is... Oh, EA bought them, of course. They made a lot of racing games. What do I know them from? I'm just going through, there's a lot of stuff. They made a lot of Amiga games. A lot of Amiga games, holy shit. Uh, just scrolling through. Ba -ba -ba. Nothing's jumping at me that I'm seeing that they made. A lot of racing games, like you said. Nothing that I would have played, apart from, like, Worms Mayhem, maybe? Maybe it's just, like, I've seen the logo everywhere. Oh, boys! They made Overlord Raising Hell. Oh, boys, also made Overlord. There we go. And, oh, boys. Clive Barker's Jericho. There we go. Oh, and the best of all the FPSs on... Oh, sorry. Excuse me. I thought that... Raising Hell was the Wii one, right? I think... Let's have a look. No, Raising Hell was the expansion. Ah. But they also made the most generic uh, first-person shooter I've ever played, and that is Turning Point Fall of Liberty. Boys, boys, and they also, I, I know what they made, I know what the names, I see the name in, fucking James Pond, Crash, I know what your first stream back with Tekken, back after Tekken is, oh, and Rise of the Argonauts, like, that's a boy game and a half, I fucking loved Rise of the Argonauts, it was Overlord Dark Legend was the wee one, and they also had Overlord Minions on the DS, 
They also done. Boys, did, does anyone remember Operation Flashpoint Dragon Rising? I remember I had pals that went mental about that game. And then I can't remember anything about it afterwards. A lot of dirt games, and then from now on it's just dirt and F1, dirt F1, grid F1, you know, that sort of stuff. Oh, boys, they made Onrush. Onrush was class. They're like super hardcore sim shooters. Aye. I always got them confused with what was the one that DayZ came from? Always got them confused with that. Was that Arma? Arma what? But I think I seem to remember because I, my friends in high school were very sort of like they, they loved the Call of Duties and stuff, and I'd be sitting in, in like lobbies with them. I I never played Call of Duty. Yeah, that wasn't my thing. But I remember for like a week, it was Operation Fucking Shot Myself Again. It was Operation Flashpoint. And that was like for a week. That was their shit. And then back to. I remember the one time I got them to play a big multiplayer game with me. I was like, right, boys, this is the next big thing. We're all gonna be playing it in no time. It's really fun. It's called Gotham City Imposters, and I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be class." I'm watching made by the same devs that made Drive Club after Drive Club bombed and they got shut down. Codemasters hired them all and they made Onrush, then Dirt Five. Ooh, nice. I really, like, I really like like arcadey racing games. I don't care for your fucking. Oh, this is a simulation, right? Like, fuck your Gran Turismo's. Give me Outrun. You know, that's the kind of shit that I like. I couldn't care less if that's a Safari GTX 95, whatever. If you can get get me cool music when I'm driving like 120 miles an hour and it's I'm skidding down and racing by people, class, you know. Like Burnout as well, fucking love the Burnout games, and unfortunately they're deed. I think they got folded into the people that made Need for Speed. But Need for Speed obviously never turned into like something the scale of a burnout. I, I think Codemaster, I must have seen them on like a lot of PC games. Was it Blur and Split Second, my last big attempt at arcade racers, and they were each got a fucking love Split Second. And both of those got shut down, aye. Split Second was so good. Like, I played that demo on repeat. Fucking loved it. I never played Blur, never got into Blur, but. Split second was my jam. Fucking loved the whole sort of like you could if you if you had driven. No fuck. Ah fuck. Shit. It's going to the point I'm going to do save states between the fucking cables. But I just give me a new outrun, please. Boys, moon. I want a new F-Zero as well, because f is fucking class, but I'm afraid with Mario Kart, they must they might not see the point of it. But I'm always hoping, like, there's a lot of indie ones, there's one that looks just like a uh, Outrun type. I can't remember what it's called, but I want a big budget arcade racer. Because I, I think I don't care about simulation racers, I'm not a car person. If, see if you, you're making a, a simulation racer. At least give me realistic crashing stuff. Like, give me like something like Gran Turismo with burnout things. I want you. Oh, wipe it with class. I never actually played much wipe it, but I always liked the music because I remember my dad got like when I got my PS2. My dad bought a copy of Revolution Soccer. Like whatever that year was, he bought a copy of that. And they bought a copy of, of White Out, Wipe Out, whatever the first PS2 one was. And yeah, he played that a lot. So I always remember hearing the music and thinking, this, this is fucking class. Man, she can really climb in high heels, can't she? It's, that's probably why it's taken her so long. Do they have any Brian? Unfortunately not. Otherwise it would have been a 
Instant buy from my dad. I think my dad doesn't even like Brian Adams. Ah, fuck. Right, okay, we're loading. I didn't want to be abusing the safe states, but I just can't be fucked with this one segment. Right about here, maybe? Right, here we go, boys. Here we go. Here we go. Right, now there's one more I need to deal with. Oh, fuck. It does kind of drop out of nowhere. But, boys, how fucking class was that early PS2 sort of game library? Oh, no. I pressed the X button. Oh, did I make it? Yes, man. Or have I died? I don't quite know yet. We'll find out, I'm sure. It's okay, that door stops all the water. We're good. We're class. Oh, where are we now? Oh fuck yeah, I missed your lair because I was working. This is what I was like any time. Uh, cutscene starting there. Have I won or have I died? Maintenance isn't powered, I'll need to turn it back on. Cool. Did you finish lair? How did it go? Oh, save point. I did, it was fun. You finished it? Nice. It was not good. You know what? I've got a list on my phone, a lot of them are side scope, and it's like, because I will buy all sorts of shit games, but this list is like the, the only stuff I'm allowed to actually buy. And on that, Lair's on that list, I need to get a copy of Lair. Like I said, I could easily just buy it online, but I like going out and actually finding it, you know? Right, fuck, uh, this has not went well. Right, here we go, here we go. It's not expensive one either. Ah, it's like, that's half the fun of it, is going out and trying to find it, you know? Oh, that's what's happening, is I've got stun buttons. Right, here we go, here we go. Oh, fuck, uh, break his leg, I guess. Oh, I double pam fisted him in the fucking leg, which killed him, I think. Right, there we go, that's all I had to take care of. Oh, no, you're still alive. Right, there we go, you, you dropping anything for me? Not, no. Like, I've got some games that I can need, like, I'm just saying that the rarer games I've got, like, well, not a rare skins, but like, I went and got. What's it called over here? Project Zero? Or like Fatal Frame? I got that and I got, uh. Which got Clock Tower 3. I just randomly looked up on CEX and they were in town. And I was like, oh, fuck, right, taxi, here we go. That was ages ago, but. They were kind of like my favourite ones I randomly just found, you know? And I remember. I remember, see, for my birthday one year. Like, this might have been my f our first birthday together. Megan just bought me. A boxed uh, new copy of Haunting Ground, and she says, "Yeah, it was like forty quid, and now that'll like it's like ninety quid for a used copy of Haunting Ground." You know, I was saying that's not leaving my collection. Haunting Ground staying there. I'm trying to think what's my big like, my big like golden goose now. So I was saying this to Jason, I was like, I've, I've been very lucky to like get a lot of the games I've always looked for because a lot of the games I, look, I really want aren't super rare. You know, like, I got, like, like Persona, obviously I got Persona when it first came. No! I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that. My fucking controller. I, the one time I do a dodge. Holy shit, a real gun just one-shot killed us. Like, for example, Persona 4, I got, like, I bought that when it first came out, you know?
And then uh, I was very lucky in finding Parasite Eve for 20 quid with a copy of Rage Racer. So if anyone wants a Japanese copy of Rage Racer, here we go. I keep meaning to sit and actually go through how much some games worth because I've got a... I think... I don't... I Like, for example, I've got a copy of Pokemon Heart Gold there with the Pokewalker. But I don't consider it, like... It's valuable, but I don't think it's rare. But then I've got games like Demolition Girl, which had very limited, you know, runs, but aren't expensive, if that makes sense. But then there's games that I like, like for example, I don't really, what, I don't, I'm sure, what's a really valuable game, like, Earthbound, I'm not gonna buy Earthbound because well, I've never played it, and it's more games that have a personal sort of thing to me, you know? Like Parasite Eve, fucking adore Parasite Eve, that's why I went and got a Japanese copy of it. But honestly, see out my like collection, my copy of Persona, my original copy of Persona 5 on the PS4 is just as valuable to me as like, you know, like my haunting ground, you know. Ah, shit. Well, we'll get that. We'll get through it eventually. Like, I'm just lo I'm looking back at my games now and seeing what might be valuable, what might be the rarest game there. Probably Haunting Ground. I know Drakengard was very expensive for a while. There was like maybe like a couple of months where it was like 60 quid. And I think it's back down to being not that expensive. But I've got a copy of Drakengard 1 there. God, I just want a... I want, is there any aftermarket, like... I forget, I played someone on stream I didn't think it was very expensive and recommend it. Someone looked it up. I know too, it wasn't too expensive to get. There was a, because I think it, it went up in price randomly for a while and then it went back down in price. I don't, games are like that, it's weird. But like, I'm trying to think like, there'll be one that will take me by surprise that I'm looking at, like fucking, oh the X-Files, the X-Files game's kind of expensive but I don't really, I think it's because that's not been like digi digitally re-released. But boys, I just want someone to release like a, you know how you get those aftermarket sort of, like, retro, what, what are they called? You know those consoles that can play fucking, like, Nintendo 64 games or whatever? I just want one of them to, for the PS2. One lad, somebody just make a PS2 aftermarket console. A specialised weapon where the Nintendo Mag launcher is used to accelerate bullets. Make a Soldier Boy console. Yeah. The best console. Wait, have I, have I got have I got a real gun now? Oh fuck I do. Right, it's fragile dreams. Ah, that's expensive. Cause I, I keep meaning to play Fragile Dreams, but yeah. It goes for like eighty to hundred on eBay. I thought it was super cheap. I think a lot of Wii games have shot up in price. Because with the, with the Wii being as amazing selling as it was, I think there was a lot of, like, for example, you could get, like, fucking carnival games or whatever for nothing, you know? I hate it that Nintendo games... Because, for example, Mario Galaxy is a common game, but it's suddenly shot up in price, you know? But then you get things like The Last... What was it called? Not Last Remnant. That was a... Uh, the Last Story, was it? Which I think will be a wee bit, you know? Eucalyptus E-O-L. Or ED, I'm not quite sure. So I know No More Heroes 2 was quite expensive for a while. Like both No More Heroes games kind of went up in price before the digital re-release. Which then I need to actually get my Switch uh, hooked up with a capture card because I bought No More Heroes 2 to stream. And I bought a digital edition of the Switch, which I think is actually the best way to play it. Because it, the, the second one didn't have a... 
The second one didn't have like a PS3 port, like the first one did. And the Windows version is fucking shit, like... Like, Crash, remember, I tried to stream No More Heroes years ago. Like, the same time I was streaming uh, Persona 4. But I got past uh, Death Owl and it just crashed. And then it just kept crashing. And supposedly that port has on Steam hasn't got any better. It went very well. I think I can take glitches, I can take like bad games, but crashing, uh, I don't know. But then again, I fucking beat Deadly Premonition like that. But Speak of Devil might be returning soon. I need to stop promising things like, I promised, oh, this year I'll be doing XYZ, XYZ. I'll do like one of the things, you know. Right, what's in the bin? I think this game brought up edible rats earlier, and we've just not had any of that. Oh, excuse me, two things, boysies. Oh, I fucking hate being sick, boysies. Hate it. What's wrong? We've located the intruder. Oh fuck, right, uh this way. Where did you I'm sure I bartered all the guys that came through there. Okay, break his neck, break his neck, yes man. Right, and what are we going for here? Yes man, break his dick. Oh that didn't work. Fuck. Right, where are we going now? Is this the break room where- Oh yeah, fuck it. Yeah, because the guy in the escape thing was talking about... We got through to the break room. Oh, I bet we we're climbing up must be the elevator shaft. So we're on our way out. Right, there we go, there we go, boysies. Right, scalped. Right, where are we going now? Right, what way did I come in? This camera's throwing me off. There we go, right, uh... What's in here? Oh, fuck. Oh, the fuck's taking force. I like to imagine that, uh, one of these guys that were bartering, this is actually a large, like, origin story or some shit like that. Because wasn't it that he was a member of Tekken Force or some shit like that? I don't know. I, I need to replay a Tekken 6 story. I remember really liking it when I was younger. Right, here we go. Here we go. Yes, man. Right, can I pick up a throwing knife? It seems like a very Nina weapon. Oh, I can't. Anyway, what's in here? This looks like... Arts and crafts? No, it's... Shutter operation manual. Right, here we go. Uh, shutters can be your last line of defence against jailbreaks. Exercise extreme caution during their operation. They almost breached the shutters during the last riot. So I've increased the number of shutters to five in total. Right, you can only uh, open three shutters simultaneously. Select three levers to operate, then use the blue button. Right. So, there's f no clue what to do here. That's a reset. Right, uh, I'll try these ones. Nope. Let's try... Oh, oh, oh! Did me scanning fingerprints and stuff. Let's see if I can... Oh, can't find anything, nothing in there. What about in here? I've scanned a shit ton of stuff. Nope, nothing there either. Oh, 
Over here, come on, come on. Nah, fuck. Alright, come on, be a pal. He has at least one. At least one, moan. Ah, fuck. You'll be kinda cool. See if they introduce, like, Wait then, like, oh look, there's giant fucking raptors with boxing gloves, like, go fucking proper Tekken mental, like, play it completely straight, most of the game, and then just go complete Tekken fucking weirdness at the end. Come on, maybe a laugh. So then we'll watch the, the anime Tekken, not the one that came out on Netflix recently, Bloodline, which I heard that's pretty good. But did anyone ever see the Tekken, what one was that? Tekken 2 anime, I think? No, Tekken 1 anime, yeah. I think it's literally called taking the motion picture. I'll tell you some boys, that is not good. But it does also try and contextualise, like, Roger and all that shit. And make Alex actually, like, for example, he actually set up the whole tournament. The one you always, yes. The one that just copied, fuck it, never seen it as mental. So basically, he actually set up a tournament. One, to get back at Kazuya, but also to test his bioweapon, which was called Alex. And that's the whole reason June is on the is in the tournament because she's part of the FBI or whatever, and a dinosaur corpse washes up on the on the shore, and it's because they're obviously doing doing experiment and stuff like that. And the whole point of the is so they can best fighters of the earth to test it against their bioweapons. It's mental, it's, but then again, the Tekken story is insane. There was another one that came out called... Oh, what was that one called? Oh, fuck. It was starred Zhao Yu and Elisa. I can't remember its name. Fuck, what was that called? Southern Bloodline, was it? Is this like a, a, like a visiting room? I've got a holster for farms. Increasing the maximum number of farms I can be carried. Oh, nice. I got a medium sized meal. Yum yum. Yum yum in my tum. Right. I see the save thing, but. Oh, are we getting. Or maybe on the other side of this. Tekken's had a bunch of movie adaptations, or. And they're all interesting in their own way, apart from. A live action movie sequel which is called Kazuya's Revenge don't watch that, that's dog shit like Street Fighter Legend of Chun-Li level dog shit right where am I going so I opened up the oh 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 that's looks like where I'm going Okay, but tell me I'm dog. It's dog shit. Oh, it's not. In it's not interesting dog shit. The rest of them, like for example, the Tekken anime is dog shit. No, the Tekken anime, the Tekken anime motion picture is dog shit. But it's fun dog shit. It's mental. No weapons or metallic objects permitted beyond this point. All metallic objects must be deposited in the security box. Oh, I need to. Um, all attack items have been deposited. You may receive from any time by the con from the contract. Uh, excuse me, um, Nina. Um, oh dear, oh dear me. You can see what she had for lunch there. No problems here. But the guards cut the bit with guns. I bet you they are. Good thing you can't hear hear the high heels clicking. Yes, man, if you ever want to play Metal Gear Solid, but you're in a bikini the whole time. I know I have. There we go. I'm sure she needs the tactical high heels. There's a keyhole. It's labeled security system for central control access. Go, oh, I'll keep that in mind. Does a bikini have LEDs on 
It does seem to light up, doesn't it? I'll see if I can get a camera shot with... No, I think they're, they're just wee flowers, I think. That are just very bright. They do look LED-like, don't they? But why are the other guards, why are they not wearing bikinis? I want everyone bikini. That's one thing I liked about, was it Tekken Tag Tournament 2? They went, right, we're adding swimsuits to the game. But everyone's getting swimsuits. Even fucking Jim Patchy and shit. Like, look at these cunts. Fucking full ninja gear. I break his head and break his arm. Don't I feel like this wasn't a fair? Wait, are all my items gone? Oh no, it's okay, I can still take a bite of delicious meal. This is my weapons that are gone. So let's take care of these guys first, and then we ask one down. Oh fuck, right, uh... Right, and he's like one shot. There, that's him, that's him dead. Ah, shit. I can just grab him. Oh no, I can't grab a ninja. Too fast. Ah, I wish someone would do that to my neck. I feel like I need that. I remember years ago, we had a class with Timothy Thatcher, who is really well known for like his more realistic shoot style of wrestling. And I walk up with a photo, there's a faint print on the surface. Can I take it with me, or... I need to get a scanner, don't I? Maybe I need to turn the magnets off or whatever the fuck, and then I can come back and scan it. But I remember he was like, right, this is a this is a legit hold. So, like, this is how, like... And he was saying how, you know, how he makes his stuff look real. And then he says, I want you to put it on for a split second, just so you can know what to sell. And he put it on my neck crack, and I was like, oh, I felt amazing. He's like, all right. Make it, man, what the fuck is this? I've got no explanation, Kieran. No explanation. The game said I had to pop my clothes into a thing to stop magnets from killing me. So now we're here. Oh, fuck. Now we're here. It's Tekken, exactly. Access denied. Fuck. I need to take a bite of delicious meal after this. Oh for air combo. Yes, man. Girl dad's got this. Oh, there's another guy there, fuck. And they're not dropping their weapons either. I feel like this is just an excuse to get me in my bikini. I just have a feeling, you know? Because all these cunts are cutting about weapons. But I'm gonna come back here later on. I want my weapons back. Is that, oh, I have to go into the college band room to get them wherever that is. But how you doing, Kieran? How's your day going? Kieran, when are we seeing the finalist Biffies? And when I say final, I mean you role playing as a vampire playing My Little Pony. And you have to get all the trophies. This week? Oh, can't wait. Any date or time? For a man home video exclusive? Right, what's this say? Warning, no metallic objects, security box. I know, right, but where's the college band room? Maybe Tuesday, maybe Thursday, I need to decide. That's it, boys. Man, home video exclusive. Maybe Tuesday, maybe Thursday. Right, so I'm looking through, realizing TOS is now, uh, right now, is just Souls and Tekken. I mean, basically, well, Phantasmagoria starting tomorrow as well. And this is the most Tekken I'll be playing. 
because I don't like playing. Uh, I don't like playing games that you can't aren't single player things on stream. If it, no, yeah, that aren't single player. If you get me, I, I only want to play like things I can finish. Basically, that's what I was trying to say. Because I like streaming, then just move on to the next thing. Like years ago, I was thinking about doing a street uh, thing where I had the dojo, which was just like a random fighting game every week. But then I realized I would get very bored eventually. Because I only like a couple of fighting games. For a big fighting game guy, I've only got a few that I'm actually decent at. The rest of them I'm dog shit at. And there wouldn't be anything interesting about me streaming a fucking Dragon Ball Z game because I have no fucking clue what anything is and nor do I care to learn what anything is. Right, here we go, here we go, boys. I think that's the way I was meant to go. We'll find out in a second. Ah, fuck. More of the lads. Oh, we're on the rooftop, I think. Can't use that main elevator, it isn't powered. It was nice, <laughs> excuse me. It sure was nice of him just to wait for me. And we'll break his fucking, break his chest. And break his arm again. Souls taken and Lair. Of course Lair is the most important. Holy shit, kill, I killed him with a broken heart. Kicked him so hard he disappeared into the void. Right, here we go, here we go. We nearly got this. Yes, man. The first switch to the maintenance elevator, power the elevator? Yes. I really should have just pressed that instead of like running all this all over here. I think that's a button to call it up. So let's head down first. This is getting less and less like, I'm sitting here going, oh god, someone's got to come in the stream for the first time and just see like, arse on camera. I'm like, no, I'm, I don't actually play pair of games. No, I'm fine, right. Wait. Right, so... This is the real gun bit, isn't it? I think it is, yeah, because around here is the where I popped it for real guns. So you don't play Perry? Not at all. Um, nope. I play nothing but holes. Family games. So I, I created set without getting through like, coughing. Like my body knew it was bullshit. First game I ever saw you stream was Pantsu Hunter. I will. But I think I, I think I was like, right, that's my niche. I need to play these weird pervy games. Wait, that's flooded in there. What way did I go? What way did I go? Which way did they go? Ho 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 ho. Right, uh. Oh, great. Head around here, maybe. Wait, what if I'm maybe thinking is I head all the way around, pick up my weapons in the contraband room, head back up that lift, and then maybe get the. Fingerprint thing, maybe? Maybe? I mean, it's just a thought. Right, and where's the conch band room? Right, on the map. Oh, no, maps this way. It's good. Oh god, my, my boy's just trying to kill me. It's punishing me for playing these pervy games, right? Oh, they have right. I didn't realize they have actually writing on the maps. 
Rec room. Shower room. Contraband room. There we go. Right, so that's here. No, no, it's not. It's... So if I head that way to the visitor's room, through there, into the contraband room, get my stuff, and then back the way. I actually forgot. I already forgot where I'm going. I don't know. Let's kick the pocket a bin. Right, so it's up this way. I'm looking for the officer's room. I was about to say, thank God they haven't respawned. Oh fuck, right. That's a that's a missed to pause on. Right, uh Where's the map? Just so I can try and figure out where I'm going again. Right, directly up, cool. I mean, I, I can just run away from these guys because I've got plenty of healing items and shit like that, so I don't think I've got much use to actually fighting them unless I want XP, which I think I've, I think I've already got a lot of. Right. Oh no, I need to be on the other side of it every time I press select for the map, every time. Right. I got you. Cool. So I need to be on the other side. But. Once I head out there. That's blocked off, isn't it? Hmm. Well. Right, so I'm just checking the, the guide just to try and get an idea of where I'm going. Maybe through here? Maybe. R wrong button again. I need to stop pressing select for the map. Right, so I need to... Oh, oh, for fuck, right, okay, okay, right. right. So this is the shutter door controls. And there's not a door here, is there? Where the fuck's the contraband room? Where am I going? What am I doing, boys? Oh, it was down this way with the shutters, wasn't it? What does that say? That's the lift. Can I use? Print scan outside or... Looks like it needs two people working use and to activate the elevator. Cool, right. Nothing up there. Right, this is where I dropped everything in. Ah, fucking select again. Select, select again! Right, map. Cool. Neutralizer. Pair off and track down the enemy. Right, conch bandroom, grab my stuff here. Stuff. Oh fuck. I just ragged all these boys first. So there's a flash like a critical hit maybe. Ah shit, he stabbed me. Hey, right, here we go boys, here we go. Right, I'm just gonna scan every single one till one of them works. I've scanned a few fingerprints so one of them must work. Not this one. Oi boys, are we all excited to watch Madam Web? Can't wait to see it. 
Looks like a fucking train wreck. Can't believe Sony's just trying to make everything. Like, we've got... We've not got Spider-Man, but we've got all these fucking weird side characters. Let's do movies on, like, Madam Web. What the fuck? Like, thing is, you could... Why not just do a movie based on Black Cat? Like, that seems like an obvious one. At least to me, anyway. Right, what are we doing here? So, I want it to be one, two, three... Right, so I need to move that. I need to move... Ah, fucked it. I've, I've only got two moves. All right, let's see. Right, uh... Oh, oh! Yes, man! Yes! Wait, what have we got? Oh. A handgun. Let's pick up all my items here. And go back clothed again. Also, is Nina wearing a, like, a wee flurry bikini underneath our, like, our battle suit? And we, oh, we got a 44 Magnum? Yes, man. Oh shit, there was something on the table I need to get. Right, uh... You head back there and get the fucking... whatever that thing was. And then we'll have a wee, a wee gander, see if Tash report about the VX gas purging operation. Entry into the facility is currently hampered due to the spread of VX gas inside the facility. We're remote accessing the internal gas purging system, but this method may take up to three days. Okay. Right, let's have a wee gander, see what, see where else we were hitting up. Right, so. This might go terribly wrong because I don't know if there's like magnets and shit around here. Oh, wait, I should actually... Oh, 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 I've clicked. Because that's the bit that's all magnetised and shit. But I can head back now and use the lift, can't I? So let me just head back down. Oh, I need to turn, I need to turn that on. Never mind, it's down here. Right, boys, here we go. Here we go. We got this. We got this. We're doing good. I think. I'm very lost, but we're making good progress. Right, there's suddenly a bunch of lads here. Good thing you can't hear me kicking the fuck out of this box. Right, choke this guy out. Yes, man. Oh, would you drop me? Why'd you drop? Oh, a print scanner. Oh, let's get that. What have we got? Robert Ramey. Oh yeah, on the map it says where the lockers are. I mean, I've got plenty of stuff, so if I'm near it, I'll go get it, but I'm not super like... Right, here we go. And head down this way. 
Don't mind me, pal. Just taking the wee lift up. Play the generic fucking fighting game music. I think it's Tekken's got such fucking class music. Like, I was thinking that when I was playing story mode, I was like, the music in Tekken is so fucking good. Why does Death by Degrees have really generic music? Like, nothing's hitting, like, the same way Heat Haze did, or fucking Snow Castle, or, you know, any big music, but in this, it's kind of just... Report your status. It could be any other game, you know? Wait, are they fucking blast- try blast me? Fucking hell, that's so loud, my ears! Actually, I need to fucking... I need to munch some of my delicious meal. I'll munch one of the medium ones. I just need to get a locket, I think. Oh my god, there's so many boysies. Hey, yes, man, way the blade not. Yeah. Every oh, it's still a bunch of lads here. I think you're calling them in, so let's take care of you first. Right, we got us, boys, we got us. There we go, your old dad's scalped him. Absolutely scalped him. We got some peppermint. Right, and the locket should be around here somewhere, shouldn't it? There it is. Right, so we've now passed the hall. I think we're good. I might get fucking destroyed coming through. Right, uh, what, let's go upstairs first. I just need to be careful that I don't instinctively just run up that hall. Oh! Lock's been deactivated. Oh, tasty. A white tag key. A metal key with a white tag. Override security systems and metal detector on the control central control access. Oh. Use print scanner on a film splicer. Oh, let's use that. Sergei Brunovsky. Oh, do I see? I see a signal. Well, do I save here? And here we go. We're in the rejection room. All right, so we'll do our resave because you can never be too careful. Right, and what, what's going on through here? What have we got? What's the power? Oh! There's, what's his name? Benicio Del Toro. It does look like him though, doesn't he? Oh fuck, it's Heihachi! It's your boy! What era Heihachi is that? It's like... This is like, between Tekken 2 and 3, I want to say. Yeah, he's still got dark hair, so yeah. What are you doing here? Maybe this is how he actually 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 found Nina Williams. Maybe I don't know. I'll take her. His mod looks it looks awful, doesn't it? It's not as if they had a he actually model lying about. Like literally, he is in like every game. Right, here we go, boss fight time. I feel that's a good way to end the stream is on a boss fight. Here we go, and start off bang. 
Bang, there we go. I think the focus shots are really what's got to uh, carry us through this. Wait, right, cracked his ribs. I mean, the cunt does have a sword as well. Holy shit, his music is actually pretty good. Here we go. Yes, man, I've got two swords. Come on, fucking go. Oh, man. I probably should have dodged that. Oh, shit, he broke my sword. Use print scanner on a well-worn scabbard. There are faint prints in various places. Nice him just to wait for me while I'm scanning his wee scabbard. Right, well, I've got stun buttons. Right, here we go. Here we go. go for his leg. Yes, man, break his hip. Man, it'd be cool if they actually reacted to, like, you know, their hip getting smacked or something like that, or, but, nah. I'll just keep going on about that Deadliest Warrior game, which is actually dog shit, apart from the cool limb mechanic. Very Bushido Blade. God, Bushido Blade, that's a cool fighting game. Lads, when we get in a Bushido Blade tournament, do we stop blocking, be a pal? Let me just heal up. Just munch some nutritious meal kit. And get and guzzle down some water so I can hit you with more focus attacks. Like these attacks seem really OP, don't they? But there we go, skull's literally in pieces. And he's he's still good to fight back. I think I struggled more on the first boss than any other bosses, but I think that's because I didn't quite understand the focus system and shit like that. Let's rock, baby. Right, there we go, fuck shoulder, I think. Um wait, did Nia do a fucking an elbow drop and didn't make contact at all? But still whipped out a fucking elbow drop on him. Right, let's get another glug of water. Just a strategy, just like knock him down, hit him with a focus attack, guzzle water. That one, our folks attack. Let's just guzzle all our water and try and get a fucking like triple hitter. One, two. The common is they shouldn't get all of, all of that one. It is the foot. Oh, she only hit the foot. I oh, still done quite a lot of damage. Holy shit. Well then, that was embarrassing. Oh god, oh god. I have had finishes where, like, for example, I had a guy who was meant to hit me with a, a double stomp, and there was a good maybe, like, foot between us when he landed, and I was like, I can't sell this. So I just shot up and went, oh fucking, hit me with something else, you know? Cause he strikes especially, I'll like no sell him and shit and just like, hit me again, whatever, you know. If there's like a lot of space between them. Because everyone remembers the finish of matches, and if you fuck the finish, like, like see the Brock Lesnar uh, Cratangle match? What does everyone remember about that? That is one of the best matches in WrestleMania history. But what do people remember about that? They remember the fucking shooting star press and then, you know. But at least they fixed it by like, you know, Lesnar got up and hit an F5 instead of just, instead of just fucking, you know, hitting them after landing in his own head. Anyway, right, that's been your regular scheduled wrestling talk. We'll just try and scalp Benicio Del Toro here. Right, where is he? Where is he? He's just parrying me now. Holy shit, any of my attacks that aren't focus attacks, do fuck all to him. And I missed the focus attack.
Right, have I got, have I ran out of bottled water? I think I might have. Oh no, I've got a couple more. Right, and where's the... Strength attacks. Take some of that. No, I don't think it stacks. Boost speed by 20%. Take some of that. Focus recovery. I'm going to take some of that. And we'll take a meal kit. And now it's time to go ham on this motherfucker. Shit, I missed. Let's rock, baby. Big bang and no more heroes off this guy. Like, it feels like, not quite like a main boss, but like maybe a sub boss and like, you know. Right, here we go, here we go. Like, it'd be someone that Travis made trains against and then has a, you have a secret boss fight against them. Right, here we go, here we go. Break his brain. Oh. Didn't get a cool animation or anything. Is Nina, is Anna still like, no, Nina, I got the name right the first time and I thought, oh, I've said the wrong name. She's still like roided at the gills, I think she is. Yes, man, there we go. Gill slice what? Yes, man, fucking scalped him. I give up. Let's make a deal. A plea bargain, if you will. I'll give you a material witness. Now. Oh, who's this? Oh, fuck is that? Yes, man. It's Tekken's second best waifu. I, I think it is. Or it looks like her. Is that her? We're making a big deal, so I think it is. And she's doing the same moves. Yes, man. It's... Anna Williams, let's fucking go. At least I think it is. Yes, man, it is. Anna wasn't in Tekken 4, was she? She was in Tekken 1, 2. I don't know if she was in 3 and 4. But she should be in every game onwards, you know? What was this? Right, we'll scan the sword. And it's just giving us a full fingerprint. All sections of fingerprint E, there we go. Enrique Ortega. We can now open up things for level B2. Right, boys, there we go. I think we'll call it a day there. So I'm just going to run back to... Wait, 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 I see a save thing. I see a save thing. Are you going to save me the journey to the next room? I don't think it has anything to add to the... I'm a fucking wrong button for the map again. So I'm just going to head back to the projector room. Right, what's in here? Oh wait, no, there's a save point... Here, did it say? Oh, fuck off! Fuck off Tekken Force, I'm not in the mood. Oh my god, don't die here. Don't die. Nina, please. Oh no, I hit X by accident. Oh, X is a quick one to the map. I see. Right, Nina, we're just gonna run. Oh, we ignore all the fucking ninjas that are behind you. Much like Samojo, I ignored them when they came back. Oh my god, there's an entrance there. Lock's been deactivated. Wait, that's not the right way. Lock's been deactivated. Shit. I just want a save point. <laughs> right, got some ration there. I fuck. Again, X. X is the fucking. Oh, oh, save point close. Intruder spotted. 
Nope, leave me alone, please. And up here should have the save point should be in here. There we go, boys. There we go. We've made good progress. We're making our way through the prison. Oops, I don't know what that sound was. Oh fuck, there's lads in here, isn't there? But you know what, we're just gonna, we're gonna save here, and we're gonna worry about that next time. And there we go boys, there we go, we've done a wee save, and you know what, just to be safe, we're going for a second phase. Phase, save. My brain's fucked. Anyway, is anyone else on right now? Big Daddy Shinra's on, so we're going to be uh, raiding Shinra, but in the meantime, boysies, we're going to head over to this screen. Alright boys, how you doing? So I, uh, we'll be playing Phantasmagoria 1 tomorrow, I'm not quite sure what time at, but you can find it on my Twitter and my Discord and shit like that. So I, thank you so much for joining us, uh, as usual boys, I've been Mikey, you guys have been absolutely fantastic. Hopefully I'll catch you in my next stream, but until then boysies, have a good day, have a fantastic rest of your week. Most importantly, boysies, have good mental health. Take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you next time. See yous!